Chesapeake, Virginia, 1650 AM WHKT presents Sports Scene. Sports Scene features local, regional, and nationally acclaimed guests and excellent interviews. Follow Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Vick and at GJBTV.com. Now here is Greg Vickavaris. All right, thank you very much. Glad you're with us for Sports Scene on this November 2nd, six days away before Election Day. Sports Scene interview show every Wednesday, 12 to 1. Also, sports highlights on NNPSTV.com. Tell your friends about 1650 as well. Twitter, at Greg Bick, at Sports Highlight, at GJBTV and HR Online Mall Com. Thank you to our military great guest lineup as well. Sponsors on GJBTV.com homepage as well as the marketplace sponsors. Guest lineup presented by Mi Casita Mexican Restaurant with two excellent locations in Virginia Beach. Great place for lunch and dinner seven days a week. You can see their link and website on Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. And Joe Daniel, welcome back as well. And we talk about Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. A lot of people, locals, tourists, people that move into the area, now the holidays are approaching, they can find everything pretty much on one website. Absolutely. I, uh, I just came back from vacation and that was one of the things that we went to on vacation. One of the first stops was an information center. And so exactly that it's an online information center where you're able to get essentially just online pamphlets and get a bunch of information about things to do in the surrounding area, places to go, things to check out. It's exactly what tourists need this time of year. Right, especially like if you're traveling on 64 or 95, you stop at a rest stop. Look at Hampton Roads Online Mall.com as your internet stop. Phone line presented by Newcastle sponsors in November. Hard to believe it's already November. Spaghetti Eddie's, Newcastle, Crawl Space, Me Hogar, welcome back. World Series, Game 7, Cubs and Indians, Redskins, 4, 3, and 1. They're idle this weekend. They play the Vikings next Sunday on Fox at 1 o'clock on November 13th. Patriots continued to roll and dominate met several listeners a few weeks ago that won the prizes including a cab driver who was listening to sports scene a few weeks ago congratulations to you all of you won prizes kudos to you and your family as well all right six days before election and don't forget at the greek orthodox church this sunday in newport news the parish council elections as well vote in alphabetical order one through five of course all right we will be back with sports scene after these messages Mihogar is your restaurant for the finest Mexican cuisine in Hampton Roads. At Mihogar, everything is prepared fresh in a casual atmosphere. Enjoy traditional favorites such as quesadillas, tacos, burritos, and fajitas, as well as refreshing beverages. Mihogar has two locations, 4201 Granby Street in Norfolk and 801 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake. Call ahead at 640-7705. At Mihogar, there is something for everyone. The place to go for U.S. rare coins is Newcastle Coins and Collectibles in Chesapeake. They specialize in U.S. and silver and gold coins and provide free verbal offers and are always buying U.S. rare coins. Newcastle Coins and Collectibles, 681 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake, across from Chesapeake General, open Tuesday through Saturday and always online at newcastlecollectibles.com. Call 757-609-3633, 757-609-3633 for Newcastle Coins and Collectibles. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Catch up on archived editions of Sports Scene by going to gjbtv.com and clicking the YouTube image on the homepage. Now back to Sports Scene on 1650 AM and tunein.com.
All right, welcome back to Sports Scene Live right here on this November 2nd, six days before election. Greg Bickaveras, glad you're with us. Don't forget to go to GJBTV.com. Hit the YouTube link for archive shows of Sports Scene and GJBTV.com for my background as well. Well, we've had this gentleman on several times in the past. We've had him on when I worked for Red Zebra as well as this radio station. Used to always listen to him on the way back from Carolina basketball games. He is the voice of the Carolina Panthers on radio, also preseason on TV, Mick Mixon. Welcome, Mick. How are you? Doing phenomenal. I'm sorry i got to be on my cell phone instead of a landline, but I'm out here at Panther practice. It's a beautiful day in the Carolinas. It just felt good for the Panthers, Greg, to get that win against a a team with win-it-all talent in Arizona. Uh, The the past a good football team the Panthers beat, so Hopefully we got something we can build upon. Right. And, of course, the Panthers have struggled at 2-5, and five, but you look at the division, it's still wide open. Atlanta's 5-3, and three, Tampa Bay's 3-4, and four, and, of course, the Saints are 3-4. and four. You guys are still right in the mix, but there's not much time for a margin of error right now. Yeah, I agree. The margins are thinning down. I, I don't really root for, for or against other teams that much when I watch. You know, I'll watch Game 7 of the World Series and, doesn't really matter to me who wins. I just I like seeing how the games are broadcast more than anything else. But I was kind of a cheesehead on Sunday. I was hoping Green Bay would take care of Atlanta and send the Falcons to their fourth straight loss, but Atlanta was too good on that day. And a lot of people always ask us, you know, you and I in broadcasting as well, you know, when you go to games, they still, even no matter when I did in my 20s, 30s, or whatever, who are you rooting for? And when you work at the network level or or a local level or regional level or national level, you have to be neutral. I know a lot of broadcasters that work for teams, let's say, you know, that do a, a college football team or a college basketball team, they kind of say we, but I've never got into that practice. And you've always been, even though when you went to North Carolina, you've always pretty much stayed neutral. And I think that's a key to your professionalism as well. Well, you're very kind to say that. Coming from you, that that means a lot, and uh, I appreciate it. I, you know, I work for the Panthers. This is my employer. It's my full time job, and I want to represent the team in as as classy a, a way as I'm I'm capable of. And to me, that that means journalistic balance. If the Panthers get a break, we say or we try to say, much like we we called that first score of the game on Sunday, where Thomas Davis picked up what looked like to us a surefire Carson Palmer incomplete pass and took it in for a touchdown. We later learned that there was a malfunction with the replay equipment, and that's why the call stood on the field as made. So Panthers got lucky on that one. We'll take it. But um, but I, I appreciate what you say. I don't. I never like listening to broadcasters that are always screaming, crying wolf, you know, getting getting jobbed by the officials because, you know, no, no, that's just not the way to do it, is it? Nope, absolutely not. Of course, talking to Mick Mixon, the voice of the Carolina Panthers, one of the voices of the South. And of course, you know, you look at the last several years, the Panthers have made the postseason seven times in their club history. But uh, what do you think about this year as it evolves? Of course, you take on a Rams team that's still kind of in their honeymoon phase coming back to Los Angeles, which I think is a great, great thing to see the Rams back in L.A. Then, of course, Kansas City. Then you take on the Saints. So it's very, very tight here the next several weeks. Yeah, these are the number one, number two, number three handicap holes. These are those long par fours that you might have to hit a three wood into for your second shot. A lot of bunkers, out of bounds left and right. A lot of ways to screw this up. After the games that you allude to, Greg, the Panthers go to the West Coast for two in a row at Oakland and at Seattle. What a rugged stretch that will be. We're actually going to stay out there for for about ten days and not come back in between games try to get that make that travel nut a bit easier to turn but so you're right i mean we'll know we'll know in a couple weeks if if the panthers can uh, can can keep it going can get back in touch with the reasons that this is a good football team can play with that esprit de corps the joy the psychological hardness that ron rivera's teams are generally known for then we could be all right does coach rivera make that final decision whether y'all stay on the road an extra week in concert with the general manager, Dave Gettleman, and some of the staff, coaches are nutty. This will shock no one uh, that's ever played a sport, but uh, coaches are a little a little nutty, a little superstitious. Sometimes with coaches, what seems like a good idea, the cool, calm of the offseason, 
uh, doesn't get on the list to do during the season when the stresses can amp up. I think the Panthers generally believe that 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 adversity breeds togetherness. That being on the road, uh, being away from the distractions, wives, kids, uh, different the ways the life can tug at you. And with a fairly short sample size, so you wouldn't want to make a steady diet of it, but but every now and again. Plus, the Panthers can channel the Super Bowl. They can say, look, guys, this is the way we did it for uh, for Super Bowl 50. We went out, stayed in the exact same place, San Jose, California. So let's go back out here, get in the same hotel maybe, and, and get some work done. Talking to Mick Bixon, the voice of the Carolina Panthers, Greg Bick of Aris Cloud. You're with us at Greg Bick on Twitter. You talk about road trips and distractions. What about England? The Redskins just played a tie game this past weekend against the Bengals. Talk about a road trip. And I tell you, that is a really a daunting road trip because NFL coaches only play in teams, play 16 games. Each week is an event. And to get off your routine and schedule to go to England, even though you got a week off the following week, can't be easy for anybody. It gets into your fitness, your ability to concentrate. This time zone uh, travel is no joke. They say that it takes one day per hour of time zone travel to really kind of get your circadian rhythm back up under you so that your, your body's molecular clock, all living things have a molecular clock. To get that reset and recalibrate it, can take a while. I think the Panthers, one of the, when we drafted Cam Newton, when the Panthers drafted Cam Newton, Greg, I remember saying to some of my coworkers, okay, get ready, we'll be in London because he's, he's mediagenic and, and he's going to be a star. So get ready to do the London trip. But we, our number hadn't come up yet. Talking to Mick Mixon right here, the voice of the Panthers right here. Great audio right here. Perfect right here on 1650, 10,000 watts. Tune in.com. Type in WHKT to listen to your phone or your computer. Of course, you mentioned Newton, of course, and he's been in the news a lot about the concussion. We hear a lot about Stewart and Benjamin and Olsen and Whitaker and Newton. What about some of the other players that have stood out this year so far? Leonard Johnson's more than just a guy. He he played uh, a just a high voltage game on Sunday. He he had I don't know eight or nine tackles. He was around the ball. He was disruptive. Good to have uh, number twenty three back out there. Mike Remmers had a good game, Greg. He graded out well. I'm standing here watching the the offensive linemen go through their drills right now, and and uh, to have the depth up front like Mike Remmers, the versatility that he could flip over from right tackle to left. Have Daryl Williams hold the right tackle spot down. That's been clutch. And I think Trey Boston's working back into the coach's good grace. He's a, he's a, a huge talent. I think really time will tell whether he becomes sort of a situational. Does he come in on, on third down and long? Is he, is he, or can he be a every down safety in the National Football League? Mm-hmm. Talking to Mick Mixon right here, the voice of the Carolina Panthers. Greg Bickabaris, glad you're with us live right here on the radio and your 10,000 watt voice of Hampton Roads at 1219. Whoa. And tunein.com. Type in WHKT to listen to your phone or your computer. That, of course, folks, if you're listening, is a live NFL practice. Mick Mixon, the voice of the Panthers, kind of giving us a little lay of the land there, huh, Mick? Yeah, right now you got the uh, the offense in black jerseys, white pants, silver helmets. The defense is in all white. Getting ready to have a team period. I'm watching Cam Newton, all six six of him, sort of meander around the huddle as as Mike Shula talks to him and gives him a play to run. Uh, it's rare to see the the Panthers go good on good, but uh, every once in a while you'll get situations like that where uh, right now it's the second team defense against the first team offense. But uh, the, this defense is going to simulate kind of what uh, the Rams do, although how can any scout team possibly simulate how salty the Rams are in the defensive line? Right. You mentioned Coach Shula, and of course, his dad, of course, the legendary Don Shula coach the Colts and the, the Dolphins for so many years. I think it's a matter of time before NFL teams have to look at Coach Shula for a head position. He's been the head coach at the University of Alabama, and only he could really speak to the scar tissue that may remain in him from from that experience. It's not for everybody being a head coach, but he definitely has the skill. This whole Coach Ron Rivera coaching tree. I mean, what what? Where are the other teams? Where are the phone calls? Why is Sean McDermott still here? 
Why isn't he running one right now? Uh, Eric Washington, Ricky Prohl, Steve Wilkes, Mike Shula. This is a, a star laid in coaching staff. Absolutely. And, of course, uh, talking to Mick Mixon right here. Mick, the, a lot of the news this year has been about the NFL ratings, and, of course, I'm putting that on a lot of things. You know, I think the biggest competition has been the election until November 8th is over with. I think and the weather has been very warm in September, October, and November in the east. I think that's affected the ratings. I think the election has affected the ratings. And I think the iPhone, in my opinion, the smartphone and the iPhone has affected uh, television ratings. Ratings in general, I couldn't disagree with any of that. I think people get their images in a, so many different ways. The sports entertainment pie keeps getting sliced and diced and chopped like it's in a vegematic. I'm 58 years old, so I remember when Sunday nights, your family. This is the only time my family even circled up and gathered as a family because we were all so busy during the week was to watch 60 minutes. Uh, to see the end of these NFL games and then to watch 60 Minutes. You might get together for All in the Family and Mary Tyler Moore and Mash. But for the most part, everybody went you know, went their way. And, and so now imagine in 2016 when you can watch movies on your smartphone, you can, uh, you can take delay the games, watch them when you want to. Uh, I agree. The NFL has been Big Daddy for so long. I think it would be naive to think, even though it's a great product, that the, the ratings uh, are going to continue to grow. They might, but in a year like this with the elections, with a World Series featuring an enticing story with the Indians and the Cubs, the NFL's had a lot of competition. Yep, absolutely. Always a pleasure talking. A few more minutes to Mick Mixon right here up until 1230. Show goes on to 1 o'clock. Mick is gracious enough to join us with his time, his talent, and his treasure from the Panthers practice field, too, as well. And you're exactly right. There's just so much competition. And, um, you know, it's just you have to remain relevant. And even the baseball ratings on, on Sunday – beat the NFL game, too. That was almost unheard of. But, um, you know, baseball is coming back a little bit. You get a little, little bit of juice as well. But maybe I'm old school and I'm younger than you, Mick, but it doesn't matter that I think that NFL is best played at 1 o'clock and 425 or 405 on Sundays. When you start having Sunday night and Monday night and Thursday night, people on the East Coast have to go to bed at a decent hour to work the next day. And I think primarily the night games, I know you, know you guys have to play the Redskins um, in December. You know, Still, the night games are more relevant to the West Coast. Well, sports marketers, psychologists, behaviorists have been studying this for decades. And the one thing that we know to be relentlessly true, it's a law of interpersonal physics, and that is that scarcity breeds momentum. Uh, just because you can race trucks, should you? Yeah. NASCAR has dealt with it. The Atlantic Coast Conference has dealt with it. If you expand too aggressively to meet a demand, the demand can be diminished. Mm hmm would you rather have a 9,000-seat basketball arena on campus where ticket demand is, is crazy off the chart, or would you rather have a 20,000-seat building that only sells out for the bigger games? The NFL is looking right down the gun barrel at this. At 32 teams, do you expand to Europe, Mexico, uh, how, how, Asia? You know, how, how big do you want to get and how fast do you want to grow? The, but you got to have all those discussions like the league is doing, but with a, an, an eyebrow cocked towards protecting a very popular product. I totally agree. And, of course, um, I think it's difficult. I think, you know, overseas, you know, you see some Canadian teams, of course, in the NHL and, of course, the NBA. But football is a once-a-week event, eight home games, eight road, and you can only do but so much. It's the most physical taxing game there is it's a collision sport it's almost like watching a nascar race without any you know equipment on um what is the health right now of cam newton and did he finally talk to goodell i believe so uh, i had my cell phone with me to see if they, any any of them were texting me to see if they needed me to scrub in on that <laughs> no i didn't hear from anybody so i assume it went okay and i'm totally kidding of course about that these these conversations exist Way pay grades way higher than than yours truly, but uh, I think it's kind of cool that Commissioner Goodell would agree to it, that Cam would propose it, 
that the two of them would have a dialogue, whatever format that takes, uh, and and that Goodell would 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 listen. So many people nowadays are wanting to tweet, twin, blog, Facebook, post, ch- Snapchat, Instagram, whatever. Get their opinions out there. Here's what I think. Here's what I had for breakfast. Here's where I'm going on vacation. Here's our new dog. And I worry that we're evolving into a group a group of people that don't listen. That we don't. That we're losing our ability to empathize. So I think it's kind of neat that, that Roger Goodell uh, wanted to uh, to be a part of this. What are the answers? I don't know if there are any short term answers. The league's in, in a little bit of jeopardy on this because let's say the Rams run into Newton and the officials throw a flag. Now Jeff Fisher, who knows as much about NFL rules as any coach, he was on the competition committee, the rules committee. Now Jeff Fisher's going to go, oh, okay, so now you run, you run into Rogers' boy, and now it's a flag. Now do we have to go meet with Goodell? See what I'm saying? It's some, some uncharted waters right here. Right, but Cam has put himself on that platform. He went to the Super Bowl, and, of course, he's been a good role model. The kid almost got in a near-fatal wreck a few years ago. People don't realize all the stuff he's gone through, kept his composure. And this is really – you're seeing the character right now of the Panthers. They're still keeping their heads up, even though they have a losing record, and that's uh, to Coach Rivera's credit and the entire staff. Oh, uh, I, I, th- I thank you for saying that. I'll accept that compliment on behalf of the entire organization. And I'm I'm proud to work here. I I like that the Panthers are pretty slow twitch when it comes to personnel moves. We're not like Tampa Bay; it's changing coaches so many times in the last few years. We we generally believe that character, uh, championships are won with character, not with characters. Not that we're, not that we're batting a thousand. Uh, these are alpha males, and they can make missteps. Right. But uh, but I think that. To your point, Coach Rivera, some, some people have criticized Coach Rivera, Greg, for not waving his arms and dog-cussing the officials on the sideline. Coach mm-hmm. Stridently believes that the Panthers aren't well served by him doing that. He needs to maintain an ability to converse with the officials throughout the game. That is the Panther way, and it's his way. One more thing, too. People always talk about how many NFL games are on TV, and it's always great to have them on the radio with you doing them, but college football is way more exposed than the NFL is. They play on Friday nights. They play Saturday. They play weeknights. I mean, they're way more exposed. Oh, yeah. The colleges will tell you. Some of these uh, Mid-America Conference, Sun Belt Conference, some of these schools will tell you, we'll play at midnight in the parking lot on a Wednesday night if that's what it takes to get on TV. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, Mick. Well, thank you so much. Leave us in thirty seconds or less, as you always do, and talk about your great times at Granville Towers. Kind of a tradition here on the show. <laughs> they had a suggestion box in the cafeteria one year. They put suggestion box boxes up, and it just happened that the hamburgers were overcooked on this particular night, the first night of the suggestion boxes, and it so happened that the burnt patties fit perfectly inside the slot <laughs> where. Uh, the messages on paper were supposed to go. So you can imagine what happened with the greatly despised and notorious Granville Sons. Right. Hearing you and what he talked about it was, was, was magic on the radio. All the best this weekend as you guys take on the Rams, the Chiefs, and the Saints coming up. All the best to you and your family, Mick. Uh, same to you, Greg. Your show's really good. I love the feel of it, so uh, come see us when you can. I will. Mick Mixon right there, one of the legends of broadcasting in the NFL, former voice of the North Carolina Tar Heels, as well as the play-by-play voice of the Carolina Panthers in the NFL, the elite guest right here on Sports Scene, right here. So don't forget to go to gjbtv.com, hit the YouTube link for archive shows, and listen right now to tunein.com by typing WHKT in your phone or your computer. Stay tuned. We'll be back after the news. With SRN News, I'm Rich Thomason in Washington. President Obama says that Hillary Clinton made an honest mistake by using a private email. Mr. Obama offering his first public comments on revelations that the FBI is looking into more emails. The Clinton campaign has canceled a Des Moines rally with vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine and former President Clinton in the aftermath of the overnight killings of two area police officers. The pool from which a jury will be selected to hear the case of a white former South Carolina policeman charged in the shooting death of a black motorist is predominantly white. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal says state residents should not overreact to the possibility of gasoline shortages 
after an explosion shut down a pipeline supplying the southeast. Wall Street, the Dow down 23 points, the Nasdaq off 23 as well. More details at srnnews.com. Do you have a family member who's getting older and can no longer be safely left alone? With Visiting Angels America's Choice in Senior Home Care, your parents and older family members can continue living at home and not have to move into a nursing home. Experienced, compassionate caregivers provide assistance in hygiene, meal preparation, and light housework up to 24 hours per day at affordable rates. To restore your family's peace of mind, call Visiting Angels toll-free today at 877-374-LIVE or at visitingangels.com. God on biracial marriage. God said, man said dot com. Hauntings, dead spirits and ghosts. Noah's Ark, fact or fiction. God said, man said dot com. Sex superbug. Kiss panic attacks goodbye. Unlock your Holy Ghost pharmacy. God said, man said dot com. Y chromosome Adam and MT DNA Eve. Word changing in 666. Hours of text and streaming audio. God said, man said dot com. Mihogar is your restaurant for the finest Mexican cuisine in Hampton Roads. At Mihogar, everything is prepared fresh in a casual atmosphere. Enjoy traditional favorites such as quesadillas, tacos, burritos, and fajitas, as well as refreshing beverages. Mihogar has two locations, 4201 Granby Street in Norfolk and 801 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake. Call ahead at 640-7705. At Mihogar, there is something for everyone. Hi, this is Greg Picaveras inviting you to join me for Sports Scene live each Wednesday from noon to 1 right here on News Talk 1650 and TuneIn.com by typing WHKT in the search box. Excellent guests and interaction at Greg Bick on Twitter, all powered by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. Sports Scene each Wednesday from noon to 1 right here on News Talk 1650. People in Chesapeake and Hampton Roads have come to expect the finest Italian food at Spaghetti Eddie's. In addition to great lunch and dinner served daily, this fine establishment caters to and can host your party. Call 484-7301 for their Taylor Road location and call 410-5500 for their restaurant in Greenbrier. For more, log on to SpaghettiEddie'sPizzaCafe.com. Interact with Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick. Email the show, BicoGB at Hotmail.com. Now back to Greg bick in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studios. It's now time for Greg's Highlights, presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. And want to thank Mick Mixon, the voice of the Carolina Panthers, for being on with us on Sports Scene. We get the elite guest right here, the elite guest right here in Sports Scene every Wednesday, 12 to 1 on 1650 AM, tunein.com by typing in WHKT to listen on your phone or your computer. And a reminder, six days to Election Day. Speaking of which, American Forces Network, we'd like to welcome the men and women in uniform serving around the world listening on TuneIn today in 175 countries and aboard ships at sea on tunein.com by typing in WHKT to listen on your phone or your computer. Subscribe to Sports Scene with Greg Bicavaris right there. Thanks for all that you do. We hope you're enjoying today's version of Sports Scene live right here on TuneIn. Dot com. Also, Buffalo Wild Wings in Newport News wants to welcome all the great restaurant employees. They'll give you 10% off food purchases on Wednesday, which is today, between 8 p.m. and 1230 in the morning. Restaurant Appreciation Day for all restaurant employees. Show them your ID, your pay stub, something, and you'll get 10% off all food purchases today from 8 p.m. to 1230 at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Newport News. Go by and see Paul and their friendly staff, and of course, um, they're right there on Jefferson Avenue in Newport News. You can't miss them right by Patrick Henry Mall, Buffalo Wild Wings as well. And of course, all powered by Tokyo Grill and Buffet in Hampton. If you're on the peninsula right there on Mercury Boulevard, great place for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Excellent buffet. Go by and see Bing and the friendly staff. Excellent place to fill up is Tokyo Grill and Buffet in Hampton. All types of food, Asian 
Japanese, Chinese, American great fruits and desserts right there at Tokyo Grill and Buffet in Hampton as well. A sports scene is a mix of great interviews, business segments, highlights, commentary, what teased me off. Of course, archive shows on GJBTV.com by hitting the YouTube link. And of course, shop on the marketplace sponsors of Hampton Roads Online Mall.com and GJBTV.com. Save the date each Wednesday. Mark it down 12 to 1 right here for Sports Scene on 1650 AM as well. Stay tuned. We'll be back after these messages. The place to go for U.S. rare coins is Newcastle Coins and Collectibles in Chesapeake. They specialize in U.S. and silver and gold coins and provide free verbal offers and are always buying U.S. rare coins. Newcastle Coins and Collectibles, 681 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake, across from Chesapeake General, open Tuesday through Saturday and always online at newcastlecollectibles.com. Call 757-609-3633, 757-609-3633 for Newcastle Coins and Collectibles. People in Chesapeake and Hampton Roads have come to expect the finest Italian food at Spaghetti Eddie's. In addition to great lunch and dinner served daily, this fine establishment caters to and can host your party. Call 484-7301 for their Taylor Road location and call 410-5500 for their restaurant in Greenbrier. For more, log on to Spaghetti Eddie's Pizza Cafe.com. Mihogar is your restaurant for the finest Mexican cuisine in Hampton Roads. At Mihogar, everything is prepared fresh in a casual atmosphere. Enjoy traditional favorites such as quesadillas, tacos, burritos, and fajitas, as well as refreshing beverages. Mihogar has two locations, 4201 Granby Street in Norfolk and 801 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake. Call ahead at 640-7705. At Mihogar, there is something for everyone. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Now back to Greg McAveris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. Excuse me, Dougie Fresh. Yes! Have you ever seen a show with fellas on the mall? All right, welcome back right here to Sports Scene, right here until 1 o'clock. Greg McAveris, glad you're with us. 1650 AM, tune in.com, type in WHKT to listen to your phone or your computer. Reminder, once again, six days till Election Day. Cannot wait till it's said and done, of course. I hope you enjoyed Mick Mixon, the voice of the Carolina Panthers. Now to another type of sport, except for theater. We welcome Michael Schell, talking about the Virginia Opera and the director of the Barber of Seville. Michael, how are you, my friend? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me on here. Very good. Let's talk about your background and, of course, uh, the Barber of Seville. It's going to be a really great opera going at the Harrison Opera House as well as other places throughout the state of Virginia. Absolutely, yeah. The Barber of Seville, it opens November 11th, 13th, and 15th in Norfolk and then goes to Richmond on the 18th and 20th and then Fairfax uh, December 3rd and 4th. And I... uh, was a singer. I wanted to be, actually, I wanted to be on Broadway, and then all of a sudden the directing bug hit me, and I was hooked. And I've been directing for the past 10 years all over the place, and actually Virginia Opera gave me one of my first uh, jobs directing. So it's a real, real pleasure to come back and bring this production in particular that's had so much success in a lot of other uh, places across the country to bring it back to uh, the place where I kind of got my start. You know, one thing about radio or TV or theater or movies or acting and, you know, even cartoon audio and video is Mm -hmm. so much goes on in front of the camera, but so much or on stage, but so much goes on behind the scenes to make it work. I mean, it's like when we would do an NFL game, we don't just turn on a light switch and make it work. There's a lot of people (laughs) there putting down a lot of cable, a lot of production trucks. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Absolutely. And that's, you know, and that's the sign of whether or not we've done a good job is is that the audience doesn't perceive any of that, but you're absolutely right. There are hours and hours of work 
we're going, we're about to go into the theater uh, tomorrow, or actually Friday, and we'll begin a whole technical process where the crew that's backstage that you never see has to figure out how they run around backstage to make it, make sure everybody gets on stage with all the the right stuff that they need make sure the scenery moves correctly we've got you know lighting to work out with a lighting designer so there's like hours of of work that just kind of goes it goes by in in those short hours that you're in the theater and it seems so effortless and that's or at least that's the hope you know, so that we've done our job. So you come and you just sit back and and hopefully with this production, laugh your head off mm-hmm. and uh, just think it was, you know, you had a great time. And a lot goes on to the talent for opera singers that they have to project their voice. We've talked about it on here so long. The right. one thing is to project your voice in the radio or TV for an hour, or two hours or three hours right. or whatever. But to do that in front of a live audience, in front of some auditoriums that are not always as acoustically as good as others, that can be a real right. challenge. I mean, how do they keep their voice fresh? Well, that's, that's, a, that's a very good question because – Singers kind of have to go into a little bit of like a cocoon state when they're in getting ready for performance. You know, uh, we rehearse for two weeks in a room and we're, we're pretty much, you know, uh, every day, uh, with a day off every week. And, uh, you know, so they're singing hours a day and, and they have to also mark what, what, what I mean by that is like they sort of half sing a little bit. But then when we're running it, they have to give it full out, you know, full energy so that it really takes uh, a toll on them if they don't, after the rehearsal, kind of go home and do nothing. And then the next day they have their sort of regiment of getting ready. You know, a lot of people now because opera is no longer about, you know, a bunch of big people on stage just standing there. You're having to do a lot of movement while you're singing this crazy music. So they're exercising. They've got a whole regimen to keep fit, to keep healthy, and then, you know, so that they're at peak performance. Now, I'm not going to say they're they're running or, or exercising as much as, you know, an athlete um, in the same respect, but what they do is very athletic when they're on stage. What are the challenges of the Harrison Opera House in Norfolk compared to the other theater as well in Richmond or Northern Virginia or some of the other ones around the country as far as the layout of the land there? Mm-hmm. Well, the challenge, I think, with, with here, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a great, it's actually an easier space in, in, than I have been in in terms of acoustics because most opera houses are like, you know, 2,000 to 3,000 seat houses. This space is a very intimate kind of feel. So, you know, we were on stage the other day and some of the singers were like, oh my gosh, it feels so good to be in here because I could actually see the entire audience as opposed to feeling like they're endless, you know. So um, we've got a pretty good, you know, opera house here. We've got a uh, and and so the audience feels really close, and the singers don't feel like they're having to yell all night to get to be heard. It's it's quite a good setup. Mm-hmm. So what's what's coming up after this, Mike? For me, I uh, I have a little time off uh, during the holidays, but then uh, I go and I do this production in uh, uh, San Jose. It's called Silent Night. It's actually about the Christmas truces of 1914, World War One. It's a really interesting piece, but uh, yeah, and then after that, I'm on the road until probably June, so <laughs> doing show to show. Have you done any movies before, or is this pretty much the opera or, or any other theater that you've done before? I've really only done uh, you know, theater work. I have worked on a film and was totally intrigued by the process, but it's such a different world than what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they're doing like a scene from the end of the movie on the first day, and when we're in the theater, we're working from the beginning to the end. Um, and so even even the preparation going into a shot, you know, like a, a, like 30 seconds of, of a moment of the, sh- of the movie, you know, is so different. It was quite an experience. But no, I've, I've only done theater. And I think I, I think I'm going to stay there. <laughs> it's something that I, I really, I really love it. I love being, you know, working on the stage. Right. All right, go ahead and plug the Barbara Seville one more time coming up in Norfolk. All right, it's this crazy, zany love story, the Barbara Seville. Everybody will know the tunes. 
Um, they've been in commercials and, you know, bar, and uh, of course, Bugs Bunny. It's on November 11th, the 13th, the 15th in Norfolk, Richmond, 18th and 20th in Fairfax, December 3rd and 4th. Ticket ranges from $15 to regular tickets at $37, uh, military discounts. You will not have a better night those nights that I have mentioned, those dates I have mentioned, or funnier, you will never, you won't laugh harder on those dates than you would if you came to the theater. All right, Michael Shell, all the best. And of course, they go to the Virginia Opera website as well to get more information. All the best to you and all your travels to Virginia. All right, thanks. All Thanks, right, Greg. My pleasure, okay. Michael. Michael Shell, right there, talking about the Barber of Seville, and, and like you said, Joe Daniel, too. Whether it's radio or TV or theater or cartoons or movies, there's a special skill, talent on air and behind the scenes. Absolutely, there's a, like you said, there's a whole array of things that we don't even see, and as uh, Michael said, you shouldn't see that, and that's how you know you did a good job when it just seems flawless, like they just got there that day and just did it. Right. When you see an NFL game or college football game or college basketball game, there's several dozens of people working behind the scenes. They're just as equally as important to getting on the air as well as master control back at the studio as well. Stay tuned for more sports scene right here on 1650. Tune in.com. Type in WHKT after these messages. The place to go for U.S. rare coins is Newcastle Coins and Collectibles in Chesapeake. They specialize in U.S. and silver and gold coins and provide free verbal offers and are always buying U.S. rare coins. Newcastle Coins and Collectibles, 681 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake, across from Chesapeake General, open Tuesday through Saturday and always online at newcastlecollectibles.com. Call 757-609-3633, 757-609-3633 for Newcastle Coins and Collectibles. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Hi, this is Greg Picaveras, inviting you to join me for Sports Scene live each Wednesday from noon to 1 right here on News Talk 1650 and TuneIn.com by typing WHKT in the search box. Excellent guests and interaction at Greg Bick on Twitter, all powered by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. Sports Scene each Wednesday from noon to 1 right here on News Talk 1650. The place to go for U.S. rare coins is Newcastle Coins and Collectibles in Chesapeake. They specialize in U.S. and silver and gold coins and provide free verbal offers and are always buying U.S. rare coins. Newcastle Coins and Collectibles, 681 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake, across from Chesapeake General, open Tuesday through Saturday and always online at newcastlecollectibles.com. Call 757-609-3633, 757-609-3633 for Newcastle Coins and Collectibles. Now back to Greg McAveris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. All right, welcome back live right here on the radio, 1650 AM, tune Type in WHKT to listen on your phone or computer. Hope you've enjoyed Mick Mixon, the voice of the Carolina Panthers, as well as Michael Shell as well. Let's welcome in our business spotlight scene, Jennifer Maroney, as well from Critters, Sitters, and more. How are you? Greg, I am doing wonderful today. Thank you for asking. Yes, great to hear your voice. How did you get started? And tell us about your business. Well, I had always uh, grown up with pets in the home, and uh, a few years ago, my husband and I were uh, planning a vacation, and like most pet owners, we used friends or the kids down the street to take care of our pets when we traveled. Well, we were getting ready for this big vacation, and suddenly one of our kitties had become very, very ill and just needed special routines and medication. And we realized that it was not, you know, the best situation to leave a, a, a young adult with. Uh, so we started looking for 
other options and then discovered the world of professional pet sitting. Um, after my uh, fur babies passed, uh, you know, I was really starting to miss them. And I thought, well, from my own experience, I would love to be the person that could help other people when their hands are tied, they're going out of town, and they want good, reliable pet care uh, service that they don't have to worry about when they leave. All right, talking right here. Very nice, Jennifer Maroney. And it all kind of hit me, too, when I was a teenager. I'll never forget. One of my friend's mother, and a lot of women do this, they pick up stray pets and kind of give them a protective shelter. And I kind of opened my eyes at a young age that not only women, but a lot of people, of course, they love their pets, but especially women would have more of a nurturing quality and to protect a stray cat or dog. And you still see that today. Most of my pets came to me, cats at least, as strays, so yes. Yeah, and it's a very common thing. And now there are so many rescue organizations and shelters and, you know, options to adopt uh, pets, uh, dogs, cats, even reptiles that Mm -hmm. just need that love and attention that they have not been uh, provided for. So it's just many great opportunities out there to care. My favorite pet is a rabbit. I love rabbits. I mean, I could have 20 rabbits. That would still not be enough. But anyway, <laughs> I love me some rabbits. But uh, what areas do you service? Well, we are, are on the peninsula. So, you know, basically uh, Hampton, Newport News, Pecos, and York County, James City County are our primary service areas. Mm-hmm. And what about your hours? Well, uh, we start our visit schedules uh, as early as 6 a.m., and we have done visits as late as 9 or 10 p.m., depending on the routines of uh, the pets that we are taking care of. Uh, our office hours are typically from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., mm-hmm. and so, you know, we'll return uh, requests by email or phone call during that time. However, if we are caring for a family, uh, we are in constant contact uh, with that family while they are traveling, uh, the pet parents, I should say, and they can pretty much reach us at any time of the day. Mm-hmm. Talking to Jennifer Maroney, and Jennifer, give us your full name of your website as well and any other social media you might be a part of. Ah, uh, our, uh, thanks, Greg, for asking. Uh, our website is Critter. Sitters and more.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can also find us on Facebook, uh, Critter Sitters and More uh, slash Virginia Peninsula. And of course, a lot of you have seen her link on Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. That's Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. Excellent website, Critter Sitters and More. And of course, are you licensed and insured? We absolutely are. Uh, we hold a business license. Uh, now, you know, licensing can be kind of a tricky type mm-hmm. of thing because, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, we're licensed, insured, and bonded. Uh, while there are no professional licensings uh, for pet sitting, uh, there are a lot of certifications out there, and we hold several certifications outside of our business license. Um, and additionally, we are certified in pet first aid and CPR. Mm-hmm. What do you suggest for a new client to get to know you about your business and your phone number and all your essentials? Well, uh, you know, I always love to say as soon as you bring a pet into the home, you need to start thinking about who are you going to have to care for them when you are traveling or if you're working really long days. Uh, and, you know, that's a really great time to really start researching the right pet uh, care company for you. We have a lot of information online, uh, but we love to meet a family anywhere between uh, uh, four and five weeks before they are going to travel. That way we've got time to go through the paperwork and we have, you know, can set up an in-home visit. Uh, they can meet the critter care specialists that are going to be uh, taking care of their pets while they're traveling and, you know, answer any questions about the routines that they have. Most people have pets and leave us again, Jennifer, with your phone number and website. Uh, certainly. Uh, you can reach us at crittersittersandmore.com. And our phone number is 757-268-9644. 
Jennifer, all the best to you and uh, your family, and have a great November and December. I know it's a busy time of the year for you, and I appreciate all your time and your talent and treasure what you do for the pet community. Thank you so much, Greg. It has been a pleasure talking with you, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit more about our business to the greater Hampton Roads community. Right. Just so you know, Jennifer, all for all your people as well, this will be archived on GJBTV.com by hitting the YouTube link. I will text you the information a little bit later. Have a one- oh, thanks, Greg. Have a wonderful afternoon. You do the same. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, <laughs> Joe Daniel, let's get to what tees me off. What Tees You Off, presented by GJBTV.com. And also C.P. Shuckers with locations on Shore Drive and Pacific Avenue. People love their prime rib, seafood, and much more. Go by and see Matt, Mark, and Leon at the Shore Drive and Pacific Avenue location where they're showing. Game 7 of the World Series, NASCAR. Of course, NHL, NBA season has started. College football, golf, soccer, tennis, NFL on Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. Like both locations on Facebook. Log on to cpshuckers.com, eat or be eaten at CP Shuckers as well. Joe Daniel, what tees me off for this November 2nd? Of course, we have fun with this. Not always being upset. We just have a little humor. Life is all about sense of humor. This is really awkward. Being in a, mov- <laughs> being in a movie theater that's either too hot or too cold. Yeah, always... My wife brings like a always a sweatshirt or even a, like a small blanket in her purse when she goes in because it's always cold in a movie theater. Right. How about the lack of air freshener? You know how I'm, I'm big on that. <laughs> you love your aero sprays. <laughs> yes. How about this substitutes in any field of work? It's just never quite the same, whether it's education or radio or TV. Yeah. It's the worst is substitute teachers in schools oh, because yeah. then... The kids, they just say, oh, yeah, our teacher lets us do that. <laughs> right. I remember my mom, when she was teaching, said the big distraction was the paper airplane. Now it's the phone. Yeah. yeah. Of course. All right. The tie rule in the NFL, the Redskins and Bengals just went all the way to England. I mean, England, not New England, but England to play in a tie. Come on. Let's, let's do better than that. I mean, they deserve better than that. All right. Facebook Live. I know it's not broadcast quality. It never will be. It's nice. But it's not, you know, audio, video, of radio, and TV caliber. It's an alternative, and you see a lot of people walking and doing Facebook Live. I love Facebook Live, and we do it on our show, on uh, Picking Up the Habit. We do it on our show. We right. actually stream it live on Facebook. But again, like you said, we're, you, we're limited to the microphone that's on the device. Um, I, I'm sure there's a back way to do it where you're able to... Um, hook up your equipment to the device so you're able to use the microphone for broadcasting as you would for you know for Facebook Live. But as of right now, yeah, you're just kind of limited to the microphone on your device, and, and you know, phone microphones just aren't the best. Right, you're not going to have the camera angles of a, a television or a big broadcast. And that's a cool dimension, but right. you're right, it's not for broadcast. Right, and your show is Saturday. Saturdays, yeah, eleven to one, called Picking Up the Habit. Right, of course, uh, Outback Steakhouse, of course, great place for lunch and dinner seven days a week they got great appetizers like blooming onions of course uh, coconut shrimp they have excellent entrees like steak and seafood and pasta great burgers as well great desserts too a lunch and dinner seven days a week go by and see nfl games and great sporting events the world series at 1255 fordham drive in virginia beach all types of great lunch specials daily at the outback steakhouse at 1255 Fordham Drive. Go by and see Mike and the friendly staff, 523-4832. Have your holiday party at Outback Steakhouse in Virginia Beach, right there at Fordham Drive in the Kempsville section. I want to thank our great guest today, Mick Mixon, the voice of the Carolina Panthers of the NFL, as well as Michael Schell talking about the Virginia Opera, as well as Jennifer Maroney talking about what to do with your pets during the holiday season. For more, go to gjbtv.com. Hit the YouTube link. Come back next Wednesday from 12 to 1 for Sports Scene on Wednesday. At Greg Bick on Twitter, G-R-E-G-B-I-C. Go to gjbtv.com. See all my Twitter handles as well. For Joe Daniel, I'm Greg Bick of Aris. Happy Wednesday. Go out and vote next week, and we'll talk to you soon. The best of News Talk Radio in Hampton Roads, AM 1650, WHKT Portsmouth. We are the answer.